Welcome to episode 30 of Book Nerd Paradise, where we get to know an author as they tell us one of their favorite quotes, read from their work, pose a trivia question, and give away a book or two. Hi, I'm LRW Lee, author of the Andy Smithson Epic Fantasy Adventure Series. As always, the prequel and book one, the ebooks, are available for download free from Amazon, Barnes and Noble, and Google Play. So if you haven't already, please do get yourself a copy. So today we welcome YA fantasy author Lori Lynn Roberts as our guest. Lori Lynn is a five-time award-winning author who writes for the young and the young at heart, she says. When not writing books, Lori Lynn provides closed captioning for television. She's adopted way too many cats from the Humane Society and indulges her border collie, Sirius Black, with far too many walks. But that's because he thinks all her books are wonderful. <laughs> Lori Lynn is a single mother by choice. She adopted her two daughters from Nepal and Vietnam. You can read the inspiring tale in her best-selling memoir, Children of Dreams, endorsed by New York Times best-selling author, Jerry Jenkins. Please join me in welcoming Lori Lynn Roberts. Hey, everybody. It's nice to be here. Thank you for having me. So, Lori Lynn, you'll be reading from your award-winning YA fantasy novel, The Door, which is the first book in the Seventh Dimension trilogy. So that we can get a feel for your book, would you give us a brief synopsis? This is my book, Seventh Dimension, The Door, and I'm going to read the back. The Door is the first book in the Seventh Dimension series that combines contemporary, historical, and fantasy elements into a coming-of-age story. A curse put on Shell Snyder because of a secret shrouds her with insecurity and fear. Following suspension from school, her best friend isn't allowed to see her anymore, and she feels abandoned by her family. When a stray dog befriends her, she follows it into the woods. There she discovers a door that leads to another world, a garden with talking animals, demonic underlings, forbidden love, and a king unlike any other. Can Shell overcome her past, defeat the underlings, and embrace her eternal destiny? Um, you've selected a favorite quote. Would you share with the listeners what it is and then explain why it's a favorite? I chose A.W. Tozer, who is a, one of my favorite Christian authors um, from The Pursuit of God. A spiritual kingdom lies all about us, enclosing us, embracing us, all together within reach of our inner selves, waiting for us to recognize it. God himself is here, waiting our response to his presence. This eternal world will come alive to us the moment we begin to reckon upon its reality. And why is it a favorite? Because it describes better than I can the idea behind the seventh dimension, the spiritual reality, that in my opinion is more real than the world we actually live in because it's eternal. You are giving away a book. What is that? I'm going to give away a copy of The Door and the companion devotional book that goes with it called Am I Okay, God? For when I was younger, I used to wonder all the time, am I okay, God? And so I took a lot of the spiritual concepts in this, and I took things from my own life and applied it to am I okay, God? So if you want more of the meat of Christianity, uh, this goes with it. I want to give signed copies of both, and it doesn't matter where you live. If the post office can deliver there, I will send you the book there. So, Awesome. Okay, cool. So, both domestic as well as international viewers, you can get signed paperbacks of these two of these two different books. All you need to do to enter to win this giveaway is leave a brief comment below in the comments section on YouTube, and that that's all you need to do. Just tell us anything about the show that what you liked, what you didn't like, whatever it is, and that will enter you. I'll do the drawing on Saturday, and then we'll contact you immediately. You'll be reading from your award-winning novel, The Door, 
Would you briefly get, set up the portion that you'll be reading from and then share with us? This is from chapter 23 and it's called King of Deliverance. Uh, when you go in the seventh dimension, everyone gets a special gift and her special gift is to talk to animals. And so that's how come the animals can talk. So it's kind of like uh, Narnia where the animals are talking as well. Yeah, so. but only she can understand them. Only she has the ability. That's her special gift. Are you sure, I asked? Once you've met the king, you never forget him. The possessed man fell prostrate before the fisherman, weeping. In a loud, plaintive voice, the besieged man cried out, What do you want with me, king of the Most High? Swear that you won't torture me. Torture? What is he afraid of? I asked. His words haunted the lake like a siren's mournful calls. A familiarity seized me. Deja vu. The wilderness memory exploded in my mind. The king said to him, Come out, you evil spirit. Was the man possessed by demons? Were there underlings roaming the earth looking for an unfortunate victim? The anguished soul stood still for the first time in front of the fisherman, captivated by the king's eyes. From off the lake, a breeze stirred, slowly at first, and then gaining momentum. Like onion skin, vaporous creatures peeled from the madman coming out of his brain. The swirling wind tore at the naked and exposed shapeshifters. The black, formless creatures were like bats without bodies. The dark beings smelled rancid and the awful odor settled over everything. The demons cowered submissively before the king. The creatures hissed and screeched and made fools of themselves. The fearful pig herders withdrew a safe distance. The king asked, what is your name? My name is Legion, one of the demons replied, for we are many. The king's power and authority over the spirits was omnipotent. The underlings knew him. They knew the king. The muscles in my shoulders tensed and my legs twitched. Much afraid, uh, my dog hid her face under my arm. The demons begged, please do not send us out of the area. They pointed to the pigs. Send us among the pigs. Allow us to go unto them. At the king's command, they fled from the man and entered the herd. Their formless bodies slid inside the pigs. I shuddered. The pigs shook violently. The herd, numbering in the thousands, stampeded down the steep bank and headed straight into the lake. The herdsmen watched their valuable livestock disappear and shouted accusations at the king. By whose authority did you drown our herd? They flared their, flared their arms at the fishermen and the shepherds trepsed back up the field resolute for answers. Who is this man that sends pigs into the lake? By what authority does he do such things? They continued to argue among themselves. At first, Chariot the rabbit Lowly the pig, and much afraid my dog, and I were too stunned to speak. Cherios the rabbit spoke first. Lowly, that is the king, the king of the garden. He's here, he's here among us. Our guest author last episode, why a sci-fi author, Annie Douglas Lima, posed a trivia question. So my trivia question was, what is the name of the heroic young mouse in Brian Jacques' Redwall series? And the answer is Matthias. So Lori Lynn, you have a trivia question for our listeners. What is it? Yeah, it, this is from uh, the Chronicles of Narnia, C.S. Lewis's series. And the question is, if you remember in the, the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, the uh, Snow Queen wanted to give Edmund something to eat and he ate it and made him made himself different. And so what was it that the Snow Queen gave Edmund to eat? That's a great question. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you don't miss the answer next episode. So Lori Lynn, are there any final thoughts you'd like to leave with our listeners? Well, I was thinking about 
one of the things that was hard for me when I became an adult was I didn't feel like I should read fiction anymore. I felt like I should read something for adults. And then I realized, you know what? I loved reading as a kid. Why should I deprive myself of that now? So I want to give any adults that are watching this or any writers who want to write fiction, it's okay to read fiction. You, it will make you a better writer. Read fiction, read authors, all kinds of genres because it will make you a better writer. It's okay to read fiction if you're old. <laughs> if you have a Kindle, The Door, which I was just reading from, is perma-free. That means you can download the Kindle version for free. So I just want to make sure your readers know that, that it is free on Amazon. So, well, Lori Lynn, thank you so much for those words. For words of encouragement for sure. So I hope you've enjoyed getting to know Lori Lynn Roberts just a little bit. As I mentioned, I'm LRW Lee, author of the Andy Smithson Epic Fantasy Adventure Series. Make sure that you download free ebooks of both the prequel, which is only 25 pages, as well as the first book, Blast of the Dragon's Fury, uh, if you haven't done so already. Click the button to subscribe to the Book Nerd Paradise YouTube channel so you don't miss upcoming authors, giveaways, and answers to trivia questions. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and I look forward to seeing you again next Monday.